Hi everyone. I hope you're doing well. So let's get started with um, another video. In this video, what we will do is we will create a Gemini API key and we will add it into our uh, project over here so that we can start working on our uh, chatbot. So in the previous video, just to go with what we did was we created a cluster on Qdrin Cloud and then uh, we we found an endpoint for that cluster and we we also had an api key uh, using which we can access that cluster so i have created a env file in my um, root folder where i have pasted the gemini api uh, qdrint api key and the qdrint url as you can see these values are fake over here the actual values are on top but i am hiding it from this video and then, um, so this was what we created in the previous uh, video. And now we'll create a Gemini API key. So just simply Google Gemini API key. And then go on to this website. It's from Gemini API developer. And here very simply, they have a bold button which says get a Gemini API key. We click on that. We'll open Google's AI studio. We click on get API key. And then it comes here. And then what you do is you have to click on create API key and then you have to choose which project. This was one of my old uh, GCP projects. Uh, it's important to note that the API key that you create has to be associated to a GCP project. So you have to first create a GCP project, then you'll be able to do this. So here you can click on uh, the project and then it will generate the API key. So you'll get the API key here. Here is my API key. And what I did it, I what I did is I just pasted it into my .env file. And um, the next thing what um, you can do is you can uh, install these important libraries. These are the libraries that we uh, the Python code requires to run. Uh, we are going to use Langchain, Sentence Transformers, going to use Qdrint client, uh, Python .env to access the data from. ENV file secrets from ENV file. Then uh, because we're using Gemini, we're going to use Google's generative AI uh, library, PyPDF and uh, Langchain and Qdrint library. So these are the important libraries that are required. So create a requirements.txt file as well, and you can add all of these. What I'll do is I'll remove this because I have the um, actual secrets on top. I'll save it here and Currently, my chatbot's already running. So uh, in the next video, we'll start breaking down how to write the chat uh, chatbot code. So what I did is I passed my uh, resume as a PDF file, and I can begin asking questions to it. Like I can ask who is Anirudh. And then this answer comes from um, Gemini API and the PDF over here. So Anirudh is an experienced software engineer with over two years of experience in full stack development cloud computing. Nice. Which programming language is Anirudh good at? This is the next question I can ask, maybe. OK, uh, well, in my resume, I specifically did not mention that which uh, which one I'm good at. Uh, but here you can see the important thing to notice it's able to get context. It gets context. So it gets context from languages, front end React JS, and then everywhere where I mentioned a programming language, it was able to provide that context. And based on that context, it was able to give an answer. Uh, now, the amazing part here is here you can see how Qdrin Cloud gets into the picture as well. What it does is uh, when I pass a PDF, I parse it through uh, Qdrint Cloud and then this PDF is uh, basically saved as points inside a collection called document collection. And these are all the points stored inside Qdrint Cloud. Now this is not stored locally. It is stored inside the cloud which Qdrint handles. And that was the beauty of Qdrint that we saw in the previous uh, video. So that's about it. Please uh, do create these. In the next video, we will check out the chatbot itself. All right. Thank you.